What's going on guys, Michael here and today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to span one wallpaper across your iMac and another display, whether it be three displays or two displays, well, I've only got two, so I'm going to show you how to span one wallpaper across two displays. Uh, Apple hasn't actually got a way of doing this, so I thought I'd make a video on how to do it because it's quite helpful for people who own iMacs and don't know how to do this. So yeah, keep watching. So this is the dilemma that we have when you try and set a wallpaper on the iMac. You can't actually span one wallpaper across two screens because it won't allow you to. So if I try changing my wallpaper, oh, yeah, if I try and changing my wallpaper, um, for each monitor that you have, you'd get a desktop and screensaver uh, window open, and the only uh, you can only set. Uh, one uh, wallpaper per monitor and there's no option for you to span a uh, image across the two screens or three screens whichever one you have the only options that it gives you are to fill the screen to fit to screen to stretch to fill screen to center it or to tile it whoa what just happened here uh, not sure but I'll just put it back to how it was um, yeah, they're the only options that it allows you to do and I'm going to show you how you can have uh, one image displayed onto two uh, monitors. So first off you want to go click the link in the description that I've done called mac.softpedia.com slash whatever it says. But um, it'll take you to this page called Softpedia. Uh, you want to click uh, download locations for multiple, yeah, you want to click external mirror one and then your download should start automatically but if it doesn't you just click here and because I'm on 10.7 line with a new Safari browser the downloads uh, now appears in the top right if you didn't know and uh, yeah you want to go ahead download that uh, install it and everything and it should come up as a little box like this and this is the application you're going to use to get one wallpaper onto two screens now I don't think you can have a picture that you've taken as your um, wallpaper because I don't think it'll work. You need a wallpaper that's specifically made for two or more screens and I also left a link in the description for this page called infacelift.com and this, it will, this website is where I get all my wallpapers. It's really really useful um, and the purpose of me showing you this is because it has the option to choose wallpapers that are fit for two screens or three screens. And because I'm using two screens, I'm going to go ahead and click two screens and find a wallpaper that I like. And then I can show you the magic happen. Hmm, not sure about any of these. But I might as well just click this one. And then you can change the size of it depending on how big your screens are. Because mine's pretty, I'm just going to go for the max, maximum setting and click download. And then um, once you click download, it should take you to a new tab or a window where the actual picture is displayed. And then you can just go ahead, right click, save it to wherever you want to, like so. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Uh, close out of that. You want to open Multiscape again if you closed it and then you can just drag that image that you just downloaded into here and then there it is it's spanned onto two screens now that is really really simple but I've went ahead and downloaded a few more wallpapers just to show this working and that it's not uh, any wrong it actually works perfectly fine so those are just, just a few examples of it working and now that's just really really helpful and I wouldn't have found this if it wasn't for lifehacker.com I'm sure many of you have heard it if you're a geek like me I guess but um, yeah they they're really really helpful and I found this thanks to them and I hope that it helped a lot of you out there um, so I did spend a f quite a bit of time actually making and you know searching this stuff so if you leave a like it will really really help me out uh, I feel happy when someone likes my video because you know it's I really appreciate it but um, yeah if you like this video then come on check out my other videos because I've got loads of tech videos I'm trying to get as many subs as I can so please click that sub button and I will uh, see you next see you in my next video I guess so see you later bye